All right, guys, so I got it installed. So basically, you got this right here. It's a punch out on the side, and it's a half inch punch out. If you can see right here, this outside ring is a three quarter, and you only want to punch out this part. You don't want to punch out this part, just this part, because <clears throat> if you do that, you're going to have trouble because uh, it's just too big. This, this hole right here is just too big if you punch out both. It's really easy though. You just, all I did was I put the screwdriver right here. You just tap it out. I've done it a hundred times. I mean, you can do it. It's so easy. You just put your screwdriver right on the edge here. And you just tap it with something. I used this and I just like lightly tapped it. Really easy. Come right, it came right out. And then I uh, tightened it up real good. As you can see, it has a gasket right here. It presses against this box to give it a weatherproof seal, which is nice. Um, something I noticed with mine, you're probably not going to have this, but I noticed that my uh, compressor uh, power was starting to crack right here. So I'm going to probably replace this 12.2, probably today even. But for the sake of the video, I just, just taped it up because um, I wanted to just get it going and show you guys how it works. But I taped it up and I mean, that'll work for a while. But as you can see... I took the two black wires and I trimmed it real good, um, real well. You want to make sure that it's short enough. Um, longer is, uh, longer uh, is not always better. So I trimmed it up and I put it right here. You can see it even tells you line on mine. It says line, take line, line, plug it in right there. And then I took my neutral and plugged it right into the uh, ground bar. Um, it if you can if i if you have an outside like a, a box that's not sitting in the wall i would do it on the box like some people have their electric box like in the garage or something and it's just um, sitting outside the wall mine's actually in the wall so to install this um inside my house i would have to like cut drywall and stuff so uh, uh they made it easy they made it so that you can go outside too this is a like weatherproof it'll it'll be fine outside but uh, if you can do it inside, I would just um, take this, take these two wires and plug it right into your breaker instead of doing this. They give you enough wire. I had to cut, like I said, I had to cut this off. So they give you enough wire to go into the ground bar and the two lines. But <clears throat> this was, this was going to cost me $200. And this box right here was $44 on Amazon and it took me 10 minutes. So uh, you can either pay your HVAC guy. $200 or 175 or whatever it is in your area um, or you can just take 15 minutes and install it yourself uh, a lot of people say that this is high voltage and to some to some extent some people think it's high voltage I think it's 240 to me is medium voltage um, but yeah you, you can get killed from it but I've been hit with 240 before and it, it hurts but it's not it hasn't killed me yet but I hit the breaker anyway, it's just for protection. I first I came out here, pulled this, and I measured to make sure that this was my line. So that's what I would recommend. I would come out, take this all off. It's super easy. It takes like half a second to pull this out and pull the disconnect out and measure your line to make sure you got 240 here and that it goes here. Um, some people say that houses have three phases or two phases. It's not two phases or three phases it's called a split phase it's a one single phase off your transformer that goes into your breaker and it splits off to give you 240 they take it off of both two sides of the transformer it's not double phases the sine wave is exactly the same um so that's what it is if you if you have a three phase compressor there, there are three phase compressors this is not the one you want you want to make sure that you get the right one for your for you what you have um, but a lot of people, like 99% of the population in America, if you're not a farmer or have a business, have a split phase system in their house. If you have a really, old, really, really old house, you might only have a single phase system. But, I, I, I mean, I doubt it. Most people have a split phase system in their house. So, this is really easy. I recommend doing it yourself. Um, if you're not comfortable... Uh, just have the HVAC company do it, but like I said, it only took me 10 minutes. All I needed was a meter, um, strippers, I have a, a blade right there. I use that um, sometimes instead of the strippers, and 
a flathead screwdriver. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.